Yeah, you'll never guess where I'm at. Any guesses? This is the Tahoe Queen at Lake Tahoe. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. It's right before the winter sets in. And we're going on a cruise across the water over here. And it goes over to a place called Emerald Bay. Oh, you gotta check this out. If you've never been here to Tahoe, I'm gonna show you just a little bit about the lake, you know, as we go across and that. Okay, you gotta stick around. We're getting ready to head out, going across the lake. There's Heavenly Valley right there. Gun Barrel. You're a really good skier. You can go down Gun Barrel. You're good. Like to gamble there's a couple casinos over there too on the Nevada side right there there's Harvey's and Harris and there's a couple others bills and I don't know if that was still there or not but there's a few others we're on South South Shore <laughs> South Shore of Lake Tahoe look at that view awesome In California, where is one of the best destinations to go? Well, San Francisco, lots of people go to San Francisco, but I'm sure you've probably heard of Lake Tahoe. This is Lake Tahoe. Lots of people throughout the world, whenever they come to California, that's one of the places they want to be. Right here with you. Surrounded by mountains everywhere. We're in a little basin here. And there's mountains everywhere. There's skiing resorts everywhere. And in another month or so, all of these mountains are going to be white. You're a skier? Tahoe is the place to be. In the meantime, we can look off our starboard side. Up to 75 feet you can see on a calm day down into the water. That's how clear this water is still. Emerald Green. We're going to Emerald Bay. And you'll soon know why. There's the casinos again, right over there. So the water changes over there. Deeper water coming out further. Twenty-two miles long. Holy cow! Seventy-two miles around the lake. There's bike trails all over the place, too, that you can take bikes. I don't know if you can ride. I, yeah, you can ride all the way around. There's not a bike trail all the way around, but you can ride around it. There's hiking everywhere. This is a really good place to be on a vacation. Hey, spring, summer, winter, or fall makes no difference at all. Tahoe is it. Oh yeah, that's what's making us go here. These are not fake. These are real paddle wheels, baby. If you ever want to come out on a cruise, they got the Tahoe Queen. We're on the Tahoe Queen. We came off a of Ski Run Boulevard over there. And then there's an MS Dixie and it goes out of Zephyr Cove. And that's kind of over in this direction over there. I don't think it's running today. There's two places 
and even out of out of uh, Truckee, not Truckee, but Tahoe City, way over that way, there's something that it's on a very small scale, and that goes to Emerald Bay too. It goes along the it goes along the uh, the beach, kind of along the side, and it goes out to Emerald Bay. So, you know, I think they said it's, it takes about two and a half hours. Or so we're going straight across we're not going all the way that's 22 miles that direction but over here it's just straight over it's not that far and um, there's a there's a little Vikings home there some lady she her and her husband built it years ago and now it's a museum and I'm not sure I think we're even gonna be able to walk through that very quickly on our tour today Two and a half hour tour. Hopefully, it's not like Gilligan's Island tour. Full steam ahead. We're not really on a pirate ship, though. Walk the plank, matey. That's just the gangway. To come on. Oh yeah, nice and breezy out here. I almost feel like I'm on a cruise ship. This is a lake. Look at those white caps out there. And a little bit of wave action. That's because this lake is so big. And when it gets windy, it whips up the waves to a certain extent. And it actually, it's not that windy today. Sometimes it can have huge gusts. And this water will actually be bigger than this. Yeah, there's three floors on this. See what I mean about being windy? This isn't even considered a windy-ish day. Well, I guess it is, but it could get twice this windy. So I'm glad it's still, the sun's out, and it's still cold. Everybody's bundled up, but everyone's having a good time, too. You gotta try this next time you're at Tahoe. Coming into Emerald Bay. Spend the winter, early in spring, we'll start to get to head back. Oh, it's getting pretty windy too. Once we get in there closer, it won't be as windy. There's a road that drives around Emerald Bay, and then you can hike down to Emerald Bay. There's a little trail there. Here's your lunch. 
much. You can go down there by the beach if you want. This is where we came from, way over there. It's the South Lake Tahoe, South Shore right there. See, that's heavenly ski area over there. That's about right across from where the Tahoe Dicks, the Tahoe Queen started. out in the middle of Emerald Bay. That's what you see right out there. Where is it? Right there. Wish it wasn't so windy. But I'm still going to post this video. Don't worry. It's not very deep here, is it? tea house. The people who built the Vikings home, they came over there and they built that so that whenever guests came, they would go over there for a spot of tea. Weeks, everything by hand. It's inexpensive insulation, primarily by catching snow in the wintertime and letting it pile up on the roof. Before night, you come down every spring. They used to do free tours through that, but I'm not sure if they do that anymore. See, the road is up there. There's a place up there where you can park and then hike down here. Nice little asphalt trail all the way down here. Have a picnic lunch on the beach. And like I say, they used to have tours through that. I don't know if they're closed for the season or what the deal is, but uh, that was built. Somebody actually lived there. And since then, I think it's been deeded over to the state, and I think it's a, a landmark, a history site now. 